Father, Father. My Father, your Father, the true and living God. Forgive me. Forgive the one who trespass against me. Hallelujah. Father, many fall asleep at night.
about it as it was daylight. And she tell him exactly what happened and what she saw. And she told him that the man hand was around him. He said he didn't even know that his hand was around him. He said that's what he kind of turned his head and looked and saw her over his hand. So he knew that this thing was real. And he was saying that's the reason why a lot of people children missing and they can't find them. Because he feel like this thing was going to take him to the wall. Hallelujah. Several times where children has pulling in their closet and they see demons in their closet. And people see they, so they see shadow over them. Hallelujah. Black men over them. Hallelujah. They have no cure for this. But I'm going to tell you the cure for this. No matter who you are. You could be Christian, you could be non-Christian. Call on the name of Jesus. Call on the name of Jesus. And these demons will flee. Jesus warned us about demons, that they will come and bother us. We don't have to be ashamed about demons come and try to bother us in the night. In the night, and demons try to haunt us. He told us about this. Sometimes it's our family that go into a cult or mess with rich craft book and the curse fall on, fall on us or us try to come out of rich craft, try to change our life and turn our life to the true and living God. And then these demons come and haunt us. These demons are so smart. They think they're smart. As a matter of fact, I think they're dumb. Some people said that they're smart, but I think they're dumb. What they will do, when you call on the name of Jesus, they will make you think that it wasn't, it's not working. They will literally make you think that it's not working. They will there for a while, and you will there calling on the name of Jesus, and they won't move when they won't budge. Because they're tensing up their self from this, from you, from this terrified name that they're terrified, for you to stop. And when you stop for a while and not saying anything, then they gain power and strength. But you in the body of Christ know that there's power in the name of Jesus. Power in the name of Isaac, God. Power in the name of Jacob, God. Power in the name of Moses, God. Power in the name of Abba, Father. All you have to do is tell them to go to the cave of doom and darkness. Go to the cave of doom and darkness till the day of judgment. Put them in the cave of doom and darkness and throw away the key. Hallelujah. Jesus command us to send them into that cave of doom and darkness and never return. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Demons beg Jesus to leave them alone. Because they know that Jesus is sending them to the bottom pit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said we have power over the, the enemy. We have power over the devil. He said he gave us power to trample up on scorpion and serpent. But I give you the secret today. Don't let the devil trick you when you have attack in your sleep most of the time it's like when you just buy a house or just rent a house or go to a hotel or go to a strange place they don't know who you are they, you lie in the bed and they come to attack the same person or whosoever sleep in that bed they will come and attack you this man said he was asleep on his side and one come and put his arm around him, trying to, to like, actually, uh, like, a, what do you call it now? Like, comfort him. And he whispered in his ears and said, not yet, not yet. What came to me is, these demons are wait for the time when the door is open to enter you. That's why many people are demons possessed today. 
because these things will, will hinder you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Many times I've been to strange houses. Every time I've been to a strange place, and like I go there to sleep, I always said, when are you going to come? I'm waiting for you to come and bother me in my sleep. Because they will come. And when they come, hallelujah, we'll be fighting in them. We'll be war me and them. War! And I will rebuke them. And they won't come back. Don't think that demons don't try to come and mess with Christian. They do mess with Christian. They will try to come, but they won't stay long. As I told you, especially when you go into a new place, unfamiliar place that you don't know about. This lady, she is a, a manager for a, a, a place, a property, like an apartment. And she said, they will come and trouble her at night and come and stand at her window and bother her in her sleep. I said to her, how is your prayer life? Do you pray often? She said, not much. If you don't want these things to bother you, hallelujah, 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 start, start put yourself in a prayer life. Start commit prayer. Start commit yourself to prayer. Commit yourself to prayer. And you won't have these things bother you. He said, resist the God, Jesus said, Regi resist, resist, resist the devil. Resist the devil. And he will flee from you. But he said, humble yourself. So humble yourself before my father and resist the devil and he will flee from you. Do you want to be released from these sleep deprived night? They call it sleep paralysis. Thank God I call that word straight because I have a problem calling words. But my father allowed me to say that. You lie in that bed, your whole body paralyzed. That's why they call it sleep. Can't even call the word again. But I describe I can describe it to you. You literally paralyze. Just like when you're in the bed. Paralyzed. The only thing you can move is your high. Is your high. People said they got raped by them. Men <laughs> got raped by them and they were in. Women got raped by them. Some people liked them. This guy said he used to like when they come. He used to wait for them till they come until one night a snake came and attacked him. From that, he said he tried to wake up out of his sleep. He said he used to entertain them because he taught he of power. Don't entertain these things, these demons, these fallen angels. What Jesus has tell you that they will come to bother you. They will come. Don't be ashamed of them too. They actually don't want you to tell anybody about these things that happened to you. But they said, as I tell you, 60% of people experience this. Hallelujah. They will attack your children. Hallelujah. If your children tell you that something is in the closet or something is in the room, believe them. Because there's Satan walking around. There's devil walking around. They're dumb. They need a body. They come in shorter. They come in all different type of form. They come and lay on your body. But today I tell you, your secret is out. Rebuke them in the name of Jesus. Have a prayer life. Pray every night. Pray without season. And rebuke these demons. And they will flee from you. Send you a liar from the pit of hell. You have no power and authority over the people of God. Today your secret is as out. No more you shall lay your hand upon your on God people. Or touch them. Or do anything to them. I 
Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. 